All right, so we found this uh, least squared regression line, and if you if you are watching this video, you probably need to watch the previous one if you haven't watched this one. But I found a least squared regression line for some data before, and it was y hat equals 294.81 plus 8.83. And we want to graph it. You should always look at it. Remember, you should never uh, find correlation and look at correlation and, and deal with these um, uh, this scatter plots unless you actually look at the scatter plot and look at the line of best fit. So if I were at my home screen, you know, I just hit y equals to get here and I type in my equation into the first um, the first slot right here. And when I look at the graph, <clears throat> right there is my line of best fit. So I have my scatter plot along with my line of best fit and you can see that it, it fits very well it is the line of best fit so there it is it fits this data very well um, but i also want to talk a little bit about another way to write this note this notation for this equation when you write the equation in the context of the problem that you had um, it looks a little bit different okay my um, explanatory variable was grams of fat or fat grams and my response variable was calories so if I want to rewrite this equation for the least squares regression line um, in the context of the problem it would look like this it would look slightly different than just y hat equals all of this I would write fat hat. That sounds funny, fat hat, okay? But you write your variable with a hat over top of it. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. Boop. It's not fat hat, although that was fun to say. My response variable is calories, so it should be calories hat. Calories hat. So you just put a big carrot over the top of it. And then it would be 294.81 plus 8.83 times fat. Okay? So basically what this does, this is another way to write your least squared regression line equation and it gives you just a little bit more context to your problem. Okay? It shows you the actual uh, variable that you're using as your response variable. It shows you the variable that you're using for your explanatory variable, the units that you have here. I could put, instead of just fat, I could have put fat grams if I wanted to, or grams of fat. Writing your equation this way just provides more context to the problem. But the one big thing that you need to remember is that whenever you are writing your least squared regression line equation, um, if no matter what, whether you use y or, and x, or whether you use the actual variables, calories and fat grams in this case, for your response variable, you always need to put a caret over the top so that it's calories hat, y hat. Because this is not just the variable y, it's a special kind, okay? And that special kind should be labeled as y hat or calories hat. 